I thought I'd show you how I typically light my scenes. This is a scene and I'm using an HDRI and a V-Ray Sun for illumination. I'm going to turn off everything but my lights. And for this example first I'm going to turn off my sun and then my dome light here to uh, V-Ray light set to dome. Multiplier is 30 and it is visible and then I have my HDRI in the texture slot and that HDRI is coming from hdri-locations.com and I place that HDRI in my environment slot so I can see it in the viewport and I do that so I can orientate the sun and I drop that multiplier down to 0.25 so I can see the hot spot and I rotate it to get it where I want the the um, sun to come from. Turn that back on. Uh, here in my preferences, I have my gamma set to 2.2, and output is one, inputs 2.2. So every texture that comes in comes in at 2.2, and then when I save out, so I don't double gamma, it's set to one and both these are ticked. Here in my V-Ray settings under my color mapping I have it set to linear, dark multiplier 1, bright 1, gamma 1 and in my V-Ray frame buffer um, first let's uh, let's turn everything back on and that sun is off I'm going to hit render. So the only thing lighting the scene now is that HDRI. Um, and it looks like my sun is still on. Cancel that. I'm going to pick my sun. I'm going to disable it. Hit render. And now I, I'm getting a nice global illumination. Uh, it looks like an overcast day and I'm getting some blues from the sky um, really nice I typically want a stronger shadow from that sun and HDRIs um, for the most part don't provide that so that's when I um, bring in the sun and then I uh, position it in the sky where that hotspot of the HDRI is and then I get that nice um, strong shadow. Here in my V-Ray frame buffer I have my color correction curve the right side here I um, first I set snaps on and then the right side I bring to 0.6 the left side I'm sorry the right side right mouse click hit free and then I make sure it's enabled and that applies that gamma curve and um, when I save these out in my render setup I typically save it out as a V-Ray image and then it burns in all that information um, and then I can you know adjust exposure and After Effects or Photoshop and I, I find that works very well and it is burning in this curve um, so that's how I set up my um, my scenes and I'm gonna um, do a part two I'm gonna change out my HDRI for a, um, a sunrise and show you that effect that that simple change can have on your scene so here's the final scene and um, so in part two I'm gonna take an HDRI from the same site that I, that I purchased. I own two of them. They're pretty expensive. Um, I'd like to have more but so far I have two of them and then I'll um, swap out that HDRI for a sunrise and show you um, the dramatic um, change that the scene um, a total different feel just by changing out that HDRI and moving that sun down.